am quite a fan of a certain video format, a YouTube format, a particular type of genre that I'm, I'm, I'm addicted to. And that is people who are arrested for seemingly nothing. People who are involved in um, traffic stops that are pretty much benign, they don't really involve anything criminal, but yet they are escalated and they are enhanced by virtue of their own recalcitrance and their own refusal to follow instructions. And they're, they're under this, this idea that somehow you can tell a police officer, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to get out of the car. You don't have the right to talk to me like that. I'm feeling weird. I have anxiety. Can I, can I call my mother? Can I call my grandmother? Can I call my, can I call my uncle Dave? Um, I'll be with you in a moment. That's my favorite. I'm on the phone right now. I'll be with you in a moment. Why did you stop me? Yeah, but why did you stop me? I don't have to get out. I know my rights. You know, sovereign citizens. I don't need a license. I hear that kind of stuff. But the phrase uh, I kind of knew about, but I, I didn't know it was used this much, is this week's subject of my complete and total contempt and wrath, and that is bro combined with literally. Now, bro, for the most part, is pronounced bruh, B-R-U-H. And literally is kind of an, an emphasis an unnecessary emphasis of nothing. Bruh, I was literally driving. And bruh, I was literally, I turned the corner. And literally, I was here, literally. And there's nothing that they say that in any way even involves the necessitating of the use of literally versus figuratively. versus. There's nothing. You know, uh, I, 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 I am literally the only one here right now. Might make sense. You know, I am literally the only person you stopped. Might make sense. But I'm literally here. I'm literally driving. Makes no sense. But it has become everywhere. It is this, it is this tick. It is like guys. Hey guys, you know what you guys, you know, back to you guys. You know guys. During this cold and fever season, you know, guys, guys is the everything. Guys, guys, how are you guys doing? Are you the guys? I'm, I'm not your guy. Well, bro, bruh, and literally. Once you're aware of it, once you become aware of it, once you become able to uh, become sensitive to it, that's all you hear. It is wonderful. It is, it is it is sheer profundity. It is, it is absolute, unmitigated, uh, literal insanity explicated. And it's one of those things which I, I, I find interesting. For a while back, things were hilarious. Everything was hilarious. Louis C.K., by the way, did a wonderful routine years ago when the word hilarious. That's hilarious. You know, that is so hilarious. Insane but literally is my favorite. The other day I was listening to somebody from, I think it was from the show Breaking Points with Sagar. He was describing a particular scene at the DNC and he used the word literally about nine times in a sentence describing literally nothing. <laughs> it was just this. But while we're on this subject, if ever you needed an excuse of why Donald Trump should be president or, or, or why something drastic needs to be done to change the course of American uh, jurisprudence and the like. It's the number of people who I find who involve themselves in getting arrested for no reason. Why police officers, and by the way, thank God for these, these vest cameras because they, they've provided me with such such incredible uh, um, um, enjoyment. But how these police officers do not just shoot these people is a testament to their training and their professionalism. And the amount of lunacy that we are that we are seeing and there's there's a there is a literal endless interminable 
uh, of a sequencing of these stops with no end in sight. It's the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. Everywhere, airports, oh, and may I say something? The vast majority, the vast plurality, the vast number of, of individuals arrested and who, who take things to the nth degree are women. Women. There is something, I'm sorry, this is my unofficial, unscientific poll of all of the various uh, shows that I've seen. And women represent that number of folks, that particular significant group of people, who are absolutely dispossessed of any rational connection to anything even remotely indicating rationality, which is read really that than I realize this. But, but there's this idea that I can say whatever I want and I can hit. I can hit you. I can push you. There are some rules that you learn. One is never, ever, 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 ever put your hands on a cop. Ever. Under any circumstance whatsoever. They don't know this. They don't know this. And this transcends every kind of racial demographic. There's something about this new form of criminal traffic and I guess airport criminal that has this idea that I can do whatever I want, I can say whatever I want, and I can lose my mind. And I can use the idea that I'm under anxiety as a reason, or, or I'm suffering from some form of anxiety, as a reason for being able to do anything I want. So, bruh, literally, this is a new format on YouTube, or others I would imagine, that I am addicted to. And it's, I think, emblematic and instructional as to how we as a society are losing what's left of our mind and why Donald Trump has to be reelected in November. Something tells me, and this may be difficult at least to connect, but something tells me that with the Biden-Harris administration, this kind of behavior has escalated pursuant to almost a kind of a dog whistle that insanity will be tolerated. We're going to put an end to that. We're going to make America great again.